My name is Joe Kern. So about 10 years ago, uh, I had gone to confession. I was back home in Verndale, Minnesota for Easter weekend. And uh, they had a co confession service in uh, St. Anne's in Wadena. And I had, hadn't been to confession for many years. Um, and going in there and coming out of the confessional, um, I felt an extreme sense of peace and newness and clean, cleanliness. I started going to Mass both Saturdays and Sundays. Um, I started going to the Summer Daily Mass with Father Finisted um, as much as I could. Um, and things just kept happening where to the point where I was telling my sister Marie about all these things and she said, Joe, you need to get a, a spiritual director and, and tell the priest what's, what's happening in your life. And, and also during this time, I remember my dad had made a comment. Um, he had noticed a big change in me. One of the times I was home on the weekends and he made a comment in the kitchen you're gonna have such a reversion back to the faith, you're gonna be a priest. And I remember I got kinda of mad at him for saying that and upset, like you can't say that, Dad. And, uh, and then so after I thought about getting a spiritual director, I called the Fargo Diocese and they set me up with, um, uh, they thought a good fit would be a priest in Hankinson, Father Scott Sautner. The first time we met was in August of 2015. And I remember going there for our meetings and, and every time I left there was just in awe and amazement of, of the things he would say to me and, 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 and how powerful he was just relating to what I was going through in my life and helping me spiritually grow. And so then when he became a uh, pastor in Lisbon, um, I got a new spiritual director, um, Father Curtis Gunwall in Morton. And I was driving to see him you know, two to three years, it's time period. Um, a year ago, spring, where I was in the church by myself in front of the tabernacle early in the morning, and another, um, just wondering, wrestling in my mind mentally with what am I supposed to do with all this? That's been on my heart and mind, and and uh, it, another voice came into my head, just just say yes to applying to the seminary, and I said, okay, Lord, I can do that. It was like the, a big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I can do that. I'll never get accepted. I can get off the hook. I can apply, and that'll that'll fulfill this and then so I called uh, uh, I emailed Father Metzger the vocations director and then we set up our first meeting for this process was on June 15th um, and it was about a two-hour meeting our first sit-down meeting to get this process kind of going and and then continuing with all the paperwork and going through with all the meetings and all everything um, all the way through and then I got the call on uh, Holy Thursday, this Easter, Father Metzger called me and uh, told me that the, the diocese has accepted me as a candidate uh, for seminary. And I, I, I got tears in my eyes again then, and I just couldn't believe how, how it's gotten to this point. 